All of our EDA workflow run on cloud. Now let's look at how our static sign-off methodology works on cloud. We use real intent tool for all RTL linting, auto formal, and CDC and RDC sign-off. The key advantage of this approach is that this process is early and continuous. Any changes in RTL will trigger the entire process again. Uh, this step is coming from the software board and has a huge impact on the quality of the code that we submit. PD-submit checks include very simple, customizable built-in checks on the content or metadata of a change, such as like naming conventions and readability standards. Thanks to the fast LinkedIn tool, we were also able to enable lint checks in pre-submit. Two other enhancements that we applied to our CDC sign-off to support our complex designs were hierarchical run and multi-mode CDC. Another challenge that we faced was that due to the nature of our ASICs, we need to support guys that have multi-mode constraints. It is nearly impossible to sign off each mode individually. The solution is to use the CDC tool, which will have only one setup, one run, and one violation report. Another aspect is RDC. Interestingly, we had an RDC issue in one of our projects because we assumed all vendor IPs have synchronous resets. After that, we started to use the RDC tool, again in a hierarchical mode. And this tool will make sure designers follow simple reset design rules to avoid meta-stability issues. Okay, in terms of what we are doing to further improve our ASIC design methodologies, we are actively working to use machine learning to aid chip design flows. The goal here is to develop a scalable and general ML-driven framework with rapid evaluation and turnaround time to shorten the chip design cycle. For that, as I mentioned, we use infrastructure on Google Cloud Platform.